In this video, I'm going to show you how to add related posts to your blog posts in WordPress Gutenberg. Super easy. I love this feature and it's a great way to um, get more clicks, engagement on when somebody visits your website by giving them the opportunity to browse other posts in your article library that might interest them as well. So the nice thing with Gutenberg is that it works with blocks and you have the ability to add blocks and you also have the ability to save them and reuse them again and again, which is one of my favorite features. So I'm going to scroll down here to the bottom and I'm going to add my related post to the bottom. So go down to wherever your last uh, section is. I'm actually going to delete this one because we don't need that one. Okay, so I've got this separator here and I want to add something, the related articles after that. So I'm going to click the plus sign and that's how we add a block. And then here, my most used ones are going to show up here at the top. And then I'm going to have all of my regular ones. So if we go ahead and go to common blocks, you can see the most frequently used ones. It's not in that ca category. Formatting, take a look at these. I'm going to cover each one as we go along. Layout elements, this is where I'm getting that separator from. And then you have your widgets, latest comments, latest posts, which is what we're looking for, short codes, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and add our latest posts. Click there. Now by default, it automatically adds one, two, three, four, five suggested posts and it automatically sorts them in the all category by newest to oldest unless you change it otherwise. So what it's going to do is it's going to display your five most recent posts in all of your categories, but you can change this. So for example, this post that I'm doing today, I'm on my keto website and my topic is 17 mistakes to avoid on the keto diet. So I'm going to write my blog here and then at the bottom I'm going to put related. So in this particular instance, having the most recent blog post could be exactly what I want here. But let's say I want to I want to choose from a particular category. So all I have to do is go to category, click the little arrow and all of my categories in my blog show up. So maybe I want to display all of my recent recipes or um, keto diet foods or keto diet explained, keto cooking, fasting. Maybe I'm talking about fasting and I want to show everything that's in my fasting category. Anyway, so I'm going to go, let's just say I want to go to keto diet explained. So I'll watch what happens when I click that. Now it's going to pull the latest five in that particular category. Now it is sorted by newest to oldest by default. I can change this from oldest to newest, A to Z, or Z to A. This is allowing for a variety of different links on each page. So I don't just want to have the same five posts on every page. So I'm going to mix that up. I'm also going to choose whatever's most relative that I believe it's going to appeal to this, this visitor that's reading this blog post. I can also change this from five items and move that little arrow and look at all the links that are showing up now. Now, here's a tip, one thing to be careful of. Uh, if you're working on search engine optimization at all, and your, your goal is to rank this post on the search engines, for each link that you include, part of your linking power of this page flows out to each one of these links. All right, so let's say you've got 100% of your ranking power on this page and you were to list 100 links, 1% is going to flow out to each one of those links and you're going to lose a lot of your ranking power on this particular page. So there's no need to do something like that. So my rule of thumb typically is to keep it under five unless I'm trying to create a category page and that's a whole other um, video. Okay, so let's just put this, at, you can also just type in the number. Let's just put that at three links down there at the bottom, okay? Now you can give this a heading if you'd like. Um, I'll show you what it looks like now. Let me hit preview. And we'll scroll down and here they are down here, see? 
I don't have any images or anything showing up. It's just there. So I might want to put a headline here. Let me move that up that says you might also like or related articles or keto guide. Okay, something along those lines. And I like that one because it's got a keyword in it. And I like keywords to be in my headings. So that is all there is to it. You can play with that. You can custom add your own CSS. And this is just one of the many fabulous features that I'm enjoying with WordPress Gutenberg. My name is Lori Ballen. I'm the owner of BallenBrands.com, a marketing company. I also own this keto coaching company at KetoDays.com. I have a real estate business in Las Vegas, which you can find at BallenVegas.com. And I am also a speaker and trainer. LoriBallen.com for more training and topics. And make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you're watching this on, on YouTube, click the little bell so that you'll be notified every time I add a new video to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today.